Hello everyone, back tuning into today's 10 to 14 day video. So we're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days. For this video, day 10 will take us to the 3rd of November and we'll be able to set up beyond that with the SNGFS and ECM ensembles. They're running to a round of weeks. Have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for next four weeks and for November. And I'll get on with that for you. Uh, in a moment to say I was a bit poorly again yesterday with tummy it's been a bit better today but yesterday I was laid up so that's why those no videos yesterday uh I've been a bit better though today I, I think I'm over the worst I've been uh Tony Boke and hopefully uh we'll be back in business with regular videos starting well from today hopefully and of course we've got the fifth winter update to for this weekend so I'm uh, gonna try and get that done for you over the weekend as well but anyway, back to 10 to 14 today. We're going to start off in the uh, subtropical Atlantic. I've got uh, Trouble Storm Melissa giving maximum sustained winds of 45 miles per hour. Going to uh, just here, we can see if that's going to update. It is going to update. There we go. We can see it's predicted to become a major hurricane over the next few days. So, composition of Trouble Storm Melissa just there will be reaching hurricane status, powering up within uh, the next 24 hours or so. And then, as we move on into next week, then we see a uh, major hurricane, uh, hurricane Melissa uh, going northwards, potentially up towards um, Cuba and the Dominican Republic, Haiti, all those sort of uh, areas uh, included in that Tacona area. Just there. If we go up here, have a look at discussion, see how powerful this is predicted to become. Uh, so it predicted to give maximum sustained wings at its peak in about 96 hour times, uh, about 96 hour time of 145 miles per hour. That is a major category four hurricane, I believe. And so, well, it's going to be a very uh, impactful storm indeed. So uh, we shall keep you updated. Latest word from Earth, EarthNoSchool.net shows that Storm Benjamin has now moved off to uh, Denmark and it's leaving us in this run of chilly and showery northwesterly to northerly winds. The weekend is going to be quite cool and then more areas of low pressure and milder temperatures will arrive again next week. Central England temperature is sitting at uh, a nice round 12.1. That's one and a half degrees above the situation tonight on the average visual to the 22nd of October. Expect that to tick down over the coming few days. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles that come with London against daybreak line. It's a 30 year upper air temperature average from London. Starting off below average would be upper air temperatures for the next uh, few days, but we'll find the upper air temperatures coming up. As we go later on into uh, next week and then through the first week or so of November. At one point looked like the first week, 10 days of November could be quite cold. Now uh, we're shaping up actually to be relatively uh, mild, but also wet. So for the next few days, well, there is going to be some showery conditions to come, but not a lot of precipitation, uh, really. So a main dry, but quite chilly. But as we move out into the beginning of November, well, then it was much more unsettled. So becoming milder, but also becoming substantially wetter. It'll be a very wet start to uh, November there, I think. Uh, temperature anomalies for the next five days, the 29th of October, coming out uh, below average, could have an average period to come. However, the next seven days, to the uh, 7th of November, looks uh, milder than average. Precipitation anomalies for the next seven days, drier than normal, 10 to 16 day, though significantly uh, wetter. Right, okay, let's start going from chart day to then. <coughs> I'm sorry, if one bit of as you can make your run. It's looking midnight on Monday, so still in most cool, chilly, northerly, uh, northwesterly winds there. More low pressure coming in, though, through the early to middle part of next week. Back in the wind into the west, so becoming milder, but also becoming wetter as well. Because there's low pressure potentially bringing some heavy bouts of rain up from the south. Icon, again, with both chilly northwesterly winds persisting to the beginning of next week. And then when backs into the west, it becomes milder. Also becomes wetter though, with low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic through next week, bringing bouts of heavy rain in from the southwest. But also, those southwest winds will deliver significantly uh, milder temperatures as well. 
I've never got the KMA uh, looking like this. So, again, back winding to the west. It does become milder through uh, next week. But those areas of low pressure will also bring much wetter conditions with them as well. Look at that. That's the 3rd of November. Looking thoroughly wet and windy. Uh, then could be another name storm with that. And that gets us to the 4th of November. Flat westerlies. Very unsettled. Um, bouts of rain sweeping in from off the Atlantic. Miss Abbott GFS is looking again once uh, more. We're back in the wind into a southerly southwesterly from Middle Park next week. So it is turning uh, much milder next week, but also becoming wetter with low pressure anchored and rooted just to our west and southwest. Up to date, um, where we keep those southerly winds going, so temperatures will remain mild with that, but bouts of heavy rain are likely as well. And no real change, honestly, as we go into where it's said. Except heights begin to rise up towards Greenland and Iceland. But for us, we just keep those areas of low pressure coming. So further bouts of rain take us from the first week, even into the second week of November. Could be an exceptionally uh, wet sort of first week to 10 days of November there. And then uh, we've got GFS 6 z in comparison. Again, with both southerly southwesterlies, bring milder air up from the south through the course of next week. But it will be unsettled with low pressure bring heavy rain in from the west and from the southwest as we go to day 10 and beyond it. And even it's extended where the areas of low keep on coming, further bouts of rain and uh, not much change all the way up to the 9th of November. If you're enjoying the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Love Is and get them to subscribe too. And we thank you so much everyone for doing that. We need to put on around five subscribers to get ourselves to uh, 20.6k. So if you could give us up, that'd be awesome. Thank you so much everyone. Uh, right, GM, again, at low pressure. Bring most southerly southwesters through next week, so heavy rain, but also much milder as well. Drawing up a really long fetch southerly southwesterly there into the opening days of November. That could be an exceptionally mild start to November with the jam. Check that out. That's 2nd of uh, November, so the 2nd. And the air is originating probably from about North Africa uh, with that. Look at the upper air temperature. Plus 10 cells ice worm surging northwards. That's the kind of thing that might get temperature about 17 or 18 degrees there, would you believe, for the, for the beginning of November. But we would have to watch out for some very wet weather coming in from the west as well as this trough of low gradually moves its way easily for an exceptionally uh, mild if not quite warm start to November there with the jam probably a bit of an outlier but I think it will be a very mild start to uh, November and uh, then uh, this is how the ECM is looking Again, low pressure will bring increasingly unsettled weather with, through next week with bouts of heavy rain, very likely. Uh, check that out, that's day 10. So we have got a southern, it's not originating, but yeah, it's not originating from North Africa, but still pretty mild. But the main thing is this low down here to the southwest, which would be bringing copious amounts of rain in from off the Atlantic. Um, into the extent with the East Air, where we just keep those low pressure areas coming with further bouts of rain, likely as wet so well definitely that prolonged dry spell that we had earlier on in the year through the spring and the summer and you know that's a thing of the past now definitely i think it broke in september and although we've tried to get back to those dry conditions in October, we have a long standing pattern like that. Very often, but only breaks. Very often, the weather will the atmosphere will try to uh, bring that pattern back, and it has done so to some degree through the second half of this October, or through this October. But uh, honestly, I think we are now into, like, properly under the cosh with low pressure air. So I expect this very unsettled weather to carry on right away at day 10. So that's the precipitation forecast based on it. It's at ECM Run, Florida.com, bouts of rain coming and going over the next 10 days. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10. The United States Met Office gets us the 3rd of November, 15 members of the ECM Ensembles with high pressure to be east, low pressure out to west, will be mild with southerly winds but likely to be wet as well 12 with low pressure just to the south, southwest, up to bring heavy rain up from the south, we've got 10 with deep low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic and then we've got 9 with high pressure 
just to uh, ease the low pressure out to the west. Again, that draws up a southerly flow, so mild, but also potentially very wet. And then finally, and then finally we've got a final line with high pressure, just like east, low pressure out to the west. Draws up wind from south, so uh, it's going to be very mild if that comes off, and probably slightly more settled as well. Most of those options seem to involve southerly southwest, so expect mild temperatures in early November, but with bouts of rain. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. And it gets us to the 8th of November show. We've got 21 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure just to our north, northeast. Low pressures out to the west. So that's going to be mild again. Bring, bring the wind up from south. Could be a little bit more settled as well. We've got 16 with high pressure to south, low pressure to the north. Absolutely classic flat westerly scenario. That will be mild. And then we've got 14 with deep low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. And that will bring a lot of heavy rain and mild temperatures in with it as well. Well, CFS V2 finally beats a 500 millibar height to line. It's breaking down into weak periods. The first week period takes from the 24th to the 30th of October. The next week with low pressure to the east, high pressure out to the west. So that's how we're starting off, really chilly, those northwest winds. But of course, next week will turn milder as wind backs into the west and then to the south southwest. Week two, uh, and this is a bit different compared to all of them, Albert, Albert we've just been talking about. <laughs> this is the 31st of October, 6th of November, with above average heights, high pressure pressure through the west of Europe. So I can, that will bring mostly dry weather. I'm um, not sure about that, honestly, but will be mild. Um, week two, week three, I should say, when you're talking about gap, week three looks like that. It's the 7th to the 13th of November with uh, low pressure to the northeast, high pressure to the northwest. And with that, then down come, will come this northwesterly type flow. And then finally, week four will be the uh, 14th to the 20th of November with low pressure around Iceland. And uh, we bring in a westerly flow with that unsettled but mild. But so, uh, November looking overall with the CFS. So 700 millibar height anomaly. Remember, these charts change daily. Today's idea has high pressure in the Atlantic, low pressures over Scandinavia, and that could bring the wind in from a northwesterly direction. So main driver could be a bit on the chilly side with that, although the market's actually going for uh, milder than average temperatures, although as it's CFS, when isn't it? And uh, also precipitation-wise, uh, well, not much seen, but I would have thought red to the other set of bed will be likely there. But long way off, we'll see. Uh, right, we're done. If you enjoyed enjoy the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment, let's say what you think about this. All my videos got it. Don't forget to tell friends and get subscribed to. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Hopefully, Jeremy Friday is back next week. Just haven't felt well enough. We do two videos today, so hopefully, we get Jeremy Friday. Um, back next week tomorrow well hopefully we're gonna have a success uk weather forecast and a 10 to 14 day as well uh want to do the ecmwf 42 day exclusive channel members too so please keep checking back to the channel uh for more i'm going to say hopefully on sunday we'll be able to get back long awaited and delay fifth winter update to you fingers crossed all right well you enjoy the rest of your friday and for this one that's all for now and thanks for watching